Hello everybody and welcome to another studio vlog. In this vlog, you can see me um, slicing some laminating sheets. And if you're wondering why is she cutting laminating sheets, it's because I recently got back into cash envelopes. And this is me making the envelope. There's the envelope right there. It's clear. It's really clean and crisp. And I made it myself, so, you know, just save some money, even though I had to buy a laminator and a, a bunch of sheets. But yeah, it's really cute. I like it. I'm going to put it into a binder and label them, you know, a little DIY moment or whatever. And, um, yeah, I just recently got back into cash envelopes because, um, I just have a lot of things that I really want to buy and in order for me to keep track of everything and you know save up instead of use credit I decided to get back into cash envelopes because it allows me to save up for everything that I want or need like huge purchases without having to go back into debt because I've been trying to get debt free and I'm literally almost there and I'm so excited for that. If you want more information, I could definitely share more. But um, yeah, here's me slicing my new cash envelopes. And then I can post a link to the video where I learned how to make them in the description down below. So you can go check that out if you want to. And here's me punching holes in them. And, you know, it came out super cute. I'm actually already done with all of them. And they all came out super cute. I have three different binders. And um, I have three different categories. Like the first one is just for my um, regular everyday wallet. And here's Troy getting ready for school. Is my teacher here? Check. Oh, yeah. Huh? File in your head called schema, right? Hey, yeah, and like I said and then my second binder which is clear it's for like um, some fast funds and then my third binder which is clear and with the green labels on it that's for my like bigger um, things I want to save up for like a mutual fund for Troy's College so I'm saving up for Troy's College now which is something I've been meaning to do but never got around to and then I also have my emergency fund but I call it my cushion fund because it's just there you know to make me feel safe and whatever and then there's my wallet it's kind of messy right now but I clean it up later Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Alright, goodbye, guys. Okay, have a nice day. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back just because. And, um, yeah, I was super excited about this. I'm so glad that I could customize it myself because I'm, like, super picky when it comes to everything, but... They came out super cute and color coded to like you know what I want them to be and I labeled everything and I even made some um spending trackers which I'll show you in a second and everything else and stuff and the person that really got me back into it was uh pink x budgets on youtube I'll link her down below too if you want to learn how to really track you know your expenses and get motivated to save more if you're more of a spender this is like a big big motivator to save money and you know not just buy everything on a whim it really helps you out guys and here's me decorating my new binders my growing funds which is basically just singing funds but I call it growing funds because uh, words need to be intentional for them to work. And I don't, I don't know what sinking means. Like, why are they sinking if they're supposed to be growing over time? I don't understand that. So that's why I put growing funds. And then fast funds are like the 
smaller ones that I want right away, like, um, I don't know, like, if I want to save up for something that's $300, that's, like, easy, I just put it there, and growing funds is more, like, over time, like, years and years, like, the mutual fund for Choice College, you know, if you like money, and if you like math, and if you like, you know, anything to do with finances, I'm really obsessed with all of that, so if you want to see more of that, you can like and subscribe, or comment down below on what you would like to see, or any questions, or whatever, and I'll do a Q&A eventually, but yeah, here's me just sketching, and um, I have crystals in front of me, because I don't know, I get anxiety sometimes when I sketch, because I'm like, oh, I need it to be perfect, but you know, art doesn't have to be perfect, that's what makes it art, it's like imperfect. And I actually just bought um, a laptop for Troy, and it was really cheap. It was like 250 with the insurance or the warranty. It was like 300, which is super cheap for a laptop, and it actually works really super well. It's the Chromebook Lenovo, and um, I bought it because we've been using his school iPad, and it works fine. But we have to return it to the school and I was going to do homeschool but we're still figuring things out and you know the school year is almost over anyway so but I bought the laptop just because we always share a laptop which is why I don't upload as much as I should because every time he's in school he's on my laptop or he needs to use it for work or homework because everything is online right now and it's just easier for me to get my work done and then he could have his own laptop so he could get his work done so if you had a, if you have a kid or if you just need like you know an inexpensive laptop that works you know really well just for like school or whatever I really recommend this one it works really well it's touch screen it's like a tablet and also like a laptop it's a really good starter laptop for kids and stuff i really like it but you know do your own research and see if it suits you but it came with a case and a keyboard i was like this is perfect for troy you know it's his first little laptop tablet whatever and it works great and he loves it too he plays on it and stuff it's supposed to be for school but he's like i want to use it you know to watch youtube or whatever and i let him so i really like that too You like it? Excuse me. the whole house that we just brought new. Okay. Here's the bathroom. I said we have a towel right there. Last time I showered. But now I showered. But I just took it. Okay. okay, and here's our closet. This is where we put blankets, stuff, and games, and paintings, and closet thieves. And Here's Charles' room, which is, he's at work. So, he can say so. And here's our window. And here is my crystals. Hey, that's actually not my crystals. Wait, that's Charles. 
I think he left his water bottle right there. See how let's do it. And there's there. Yeah. Hi. Curtains. Look. Curtains. She's not there. And here's the other curtains. Which is half flowery. Yeah. Can I please borrow it? No. <laughs> Sorry, I keep moving, but I hope you guys liked this video. Um, please like and subscribe and share and tell your friends about us or whatever. I'm making taquitos and um, have a great day. And especially thank you.